Ladies and gentlemen, pilots of the skies, welcome back to Merchants of the Skies. I used the word skies twice there, not entirely an advisable thing to do when you're in the uh, the YouTube profession. Anyway, I'm over to Potato, hello and welcome back. Uh, yes, so, where were we last time and where are we going this time? Well, we're going to greatness, that is for sure. So, my plan is, my plan is to try and clear up this, uh, this iron mining depot. We've got to pick it all up. We've got to make sure that we get the forge all up and running. Uh, we need three iron ingots in order to create a recharge station, and I think that is exactly what I am interested in doing. So, why don't we go and head down here to pick up some crates, just whilst we wait for, uh, just whilst we wait for all that to happen. Uh, just the iron to sort of, you know, propagate through the system and uh, will allow, you know, will allow it all to it all to, to work. I'll also just go and check out the market whilst we're here. Uh, wood's still pretty cheap, so that's kind of nice. Gems are pretty expensive, so that's uh, that's also quite good. Uh, we'll get rid of a stack of stone, why not? And uh, we'll get rid of the berries as well. Brilliant. I tell you what, we can also go and check out the apple orchard, the berry field. And, uh, and see if we've got anything up there. Ooh. Also, I see a storage full sign somewhere. Storage is full over here? Okay, well, we're gonna need to go and sort that out. Gonna need to head back to Kingsford, because, of course, I completely neglected to actually, uh, recharge the ship. And we can do it on the cheap in Kingsford. But, you know, this is, this is a temporary solution. We're very, very close to getting all of the iron that we could possibly need. And, uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm excited. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen real freaking soon. Oh, this is delightful. Do I have... Do I have the resources in place needed to make this stuff work? Uh, let me just quickly go back and check. Check what the situation is over here. Right. So, you need... Turn five sand. No, not five sand. I need two ingots, two iron into one ingot every day. Okay, so it's this This is literally just going to do itself. Okay, I just want to make absolutely certain that that is, um, that that is going to work. Right, brilliant. Well, let's leave then. Let's leave. I also need to visit the, uh, the you know, the giants, whatever. I need to try and get a few more tech upgrades. That's absolutely something that I'm after. I also need to get myself a field of spices because I ain't got no spices at the moment. How much is a field of spices going to set me back? Just whilst we're over here. Also, I know that there is, you know, full stock, and I want to, I want to fix that up. One thousand five hundred bucks. I mean, I might as well, right? Why not? And let's build the storage, and let's see if we can build harvest spices. That's it. Okay, so we need some more bricks in order to do that. Well, it just so happens that I want to travel across to the brick island anyway, over in uh, in Seabury, because I do indeed believe. We are at max capacity over there. I will drop in first by Parkborough, pick up some more wood, so we can hopefully manage to get a few more upgrades together. This is max level, isn't it? Yeah, that's max level. Brilliant. Let me take absolutely everything that we possibly can. We're maxed, maxed out on lumber. And we'll head out. We'll come via the crates, extract anything and everything that we possibly can. 135 in weekly fees. I also want to get a caravan uh, set up over the course of this episode to mostly take sand to this island because this island is obviously where we're making where we're making bricks and that's pretty important. Also, I can get the oven upgraded to level level 4 and maybe level 5 if I'm fortunate. Right, so we get that upgraded. Uh what else do I need to do? Oh. Am I able to even get the upgrade? I'm not even able to get the upgrade here. I mean, what if we were to upgrade this to the next level? Yeah, upgrade that to the next level, then take or store some goods. We'll store some... We'll store some wheat for now, and then we'll take some more of this. So that's 32. Okay, so we should have more than enough... More than enough to upgrade the iron production to brick production again what was the what was the last level that we need to get it upgraded to we need 56 56 boy oh boy oh boy all right that is uh that is some number well that's no matter let's go and uh let's just go and fill up with bricks whilst we're here we'll take two full stacks of bricks as well as reloading all of our wheat on board and then we will head off out into the great unknown i say the great unknown it's actually the great known 
because we know exactly what's going on. I need to find some way to get rid of this lumber, and I have absolutely no idea who is interested in uh, in taking lumber on board, but that's okay. Uh, forge, we've got three forges. Brilliant. We can go over here and get this all upgraded. Fantastic. And then we also need to go back over to the Field of Spices and get that sorted. Let's go to the Field of Spices and just start production as soon as we possibly can. The other thing that we need to think about is I'm going to need people. And I ain't got people at the moment. We've got far too many people, in fact. Oh, I'm also able to build a recharge station now if I utilize my iron properly. So I'll do that. Right. Let's get that in place. Requires sand as a building material. Needs six crew to operate. Right. Well, that is... That is a problem. That is a problem indeed. I mean, I also want to try and get a brand new ship over the course of today's episode as well. So, I mean, you know, that's definitely something that I want to do. Let's head on down to storage over here. I might burn through some batteries, but I mean, you know, c'est la vie. We have an unlimited supply of them fairly nearby anyway. Right. So, I will take a full stack of iron. Yep. I will offload uh, some wheat, uh, not some wheat, some some of this tea leaf stuff, and I'll take all of the iron, brilliant, and then what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to go and head on over to Seabury, I think, actually, whilst I'm here, whilst I'm here, I'll just pop in a couple of upgrades to the, um, to the forge, there we go, because I don't think I need bricks for anything else at the moment, so let's get that upgraded to... Yeah, level 4 is pretty darn good. So that will mean turn 8 iron into 4 iron ingots per day. I mean, how much iron are we extracting? We're only extracting 5 at the moment. Okay, so we're actually not going to produce any iron, and in fact, we're going to draw down on our supplies over here. I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm totally okay with that. Yeah, uh, just give me as much iron as we can take right now. Yep. And then what do we need in order to get that final upgrade? We just need 18, 18 bricks. Well, we'll have that at some point soon. Anyway, let's go back over to Seabury via Kingsford, actually. Slow down. Yeah. Don't worry about it too much. And let's fill up. We also need to go in past the house. That's pretty important. We need to get that spice mine up and running pretty much as soon as we possibly can. Is there a house in Northfield? No, but there is a house in... I think there's a house in Seafell or Seakirk. Ah, uh, yeah, Seafell. Brilliant. Okay, so we'll go and hire six people... Six people here. So, we've got the... We've got the... We've got the oven. The oven's producing bricks. It's a good number of bricks. We're still, theoretically, producing a little bit of stone. A very, very minor amount of stone, I would hasten to add. Uh, because we're producing five stone from the... Yeah, from the... From the stone mining deposit. A depot, sure. And then we're turning that into four. We're turning that, yeah, we're four stones into four bricks. Fine. Cool. So, we want to try, we want to try and build on this island. We want to try and build a caravan office as well as a recharge station. Right? I think, I think that's what we're after. We don't want anything else. A forge creates iron ingots from ore and glass from sand. Yeah, I think we're straight up after a a recharge station and then a caravan office. Let's do it. Let's give it a shot. All right, how much is this going to cost me? I mean, that's nothing. That's nothing. I don't know the cost of I don't know the cost of recharge. Uh, and then how much will it cost to build a caravan office? Twenty bricks allows you to send caravans from this island and automate resource delivery. Yes, now we're talking. Now we are talking. So I will need to build a recharge station wherever I want to build a caravan office, and I guess building building a recharge station over here would probably be a fairly good idea. By the way, over here, I mean uh, Ravendale, the sand, the sand pit island. Yeah, okay, so let's do that. Let's use... Oh, in fact, I was going to go to... I was going to go to Seafell. We'll go to Seafell in just a second. I'm going to go back across to Goldbury, uh, pick up... Yeah, just a little bit more, a little bit more of this iron ingot goodness... There we go. Pop that in there. I'll also take this extra wood that we've just got lying around. That's 10 iron ingots. Wonderful. Let's head right across to Ravendale. And we get a nice little speed bump along the way. 
the week is over. Can I see what the recharge cost is? It's just one. Okay, so it's literally as low as it can possibly be. I think we might just make it to Ravendale without needing a, a, a recharge of any nature, but that's okay. So now I should always be aiming to, uh, to refill at one of my islands. So that's pretty darn good. Storage doesn't need to be upgraded yet. Let's uh, let's get in place a charging station. Brilliant. I tell you what, having that iron ingot production island is is pretty darn good. We need 20 bricks. 20 bricks. 20, 20, 20 bricks. That's, that's fine. I should also probably create a forge. Yeah. How many bricks do we have at the moment? Yeah, you know what? Create a forge so we can make glass. I don't feel like I really need glass at this moment in time. But I'll get it anyway. And then our last building will be a caravan office. Perfect. Right. Recharge for 20 gold. Phenomenal. That's dirt cheap. We cannot send any workers because I am unbelievably short on workers right now. And I really, really, really need to go to Seafell and get that completely sorted out. How much sand do we have over here? We got plenty of sand. We got plenty of sand over uh, on Brick Island. So that's totally fine. Right. Hire five people phenomenal and then I guess we'll do a little trip back to I tell you what I just want to set the caravan I just want to set the caravan office up right now so I'll just pop back across to this island here and we'll pick up the rest of our bricks that we need in order to we need in order to get this done and then we'll head on back to Ravendale. I know, I know, I know, I know. Where's the excitement? Where's the where's the activity? The excitement is about to come in the form of automation, which, I mean, gives me so much pleasure to do. Right, caravan office. Two grand for a caravan office. That does seem rather steep, but there we go. 25 crew to operate. Um, okay, I mean, that's a little bit of a bummer. How much, how much sand? How much sand are we going to... Turn five sand into two glass every day. I need 25 flipping crew to operate. Are you having a laugh, mate? Send all the workers that I can? I mean, do I really want to do this in, like, batches? I guess I kind of have no choice, right? I've kind of committed to doing this. But at the same time, I'm not exactly... I'm not exactly in a very horrific, uh, horrific. I'm not exactly in a very good financial situation. That's what I mean to say. Wood is very expensive, which is nice, but I mean, wood is still too cheap as far as I'm concerned. Right. You know what I think we need to do? I think we need to go, I think we need to go on a little trip down to our gem island and see if we can try and pick up some gems. How much is it going to cost to upgrade this? Seven bricks. I ain't got no bricks. I need to find a way to get rid of rid of that junk. Also, what what resources do I need to deliver over here? It's 17 spices. 17 spices. Right. Okay, gems. How much money have you got in Kingsford? A good amount of money in Kingsford. Right. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to clear out as much as much storage as we possibly can. So that includes just getting rid of all of our wood. I know, I know, we we need wood fairly regularly. I get it. It's annoying. Uh, we're also going to sell all of our iron ore, or ugh, as much as we possibly can. Give me... Give me a gem. Sure, give me a gem instead, because I'm actually going to go and pick up... I'm going to go and pick up a gargantuan number of gems. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna go and do it all. We got a full complement of crew as well, which is important because I would like to visit the Spice Islands and drop off the necessary number of workers there, because we need six workers to be dropped off at the Spice Islands, and I just want to start production as quickly as I possibly can. It's three stacks of that. Pick up you. Can we get this upgraded actually? Oh, seven iron ore. You mean I just sold the the exact resource that I needed in order to get it upgraded? That's fine. Doesn't particularly matter. Right. Let's head for... Oh, I could get a recharge here, couldn't I? I can't get a recharge here. Although, in saying that, I actually straight up can get a recharge station set up here. If I get a recharge station set up here, then that is going to be way easier. Brilliant. And it means that we've, you know, we've now got an outpost in the south, so to speak. Which we can, uh, which we can reliably refill at at any time we need. 
Okay, I'm heading for Kingsford. Heading for Kingsford. Brilliant. And we need to get a brand new ship. I'm sick and tired of using this this garbage ship. I say it's garbage. It's not garbage. It's it's done me very, very well. But now it's time for change. Right. So, as you can see, we are probably not going to be able to sell all of our gems here. More items available and, uh, and the trade post has been developed. Well, that's brilliant, but it's going to refresh in like an entire week, unfortunately. So that was some of our gems, but uh, but we'll need to go and sell more gems, obviously, in a little bit. Let's go up and get this area sorted out. I'll tell you what, we might even be able to upgrade it once. We might even be able to upgrade it once. We totally will. We totally will be able to upgrade this, uh, this spice mine once. This spice harvester once. Send all necessary workers. Brilliant. Upgrade to spice gatherer level 2. Not super bothered about getting a... Spice Gatherer level 3. Four per day? Holy cow? That's a lot of spice. That is a heck of a lot of spice, if I do say so myself. Right, that is, that's kind of taken me uh, a little bit by surprise there. Uh, fine, I mean, I'm good. I'm good with that. That's that's totally fine in my books. I still need to get rid of these, uh, these gems. And there's just absolutely nowhere to get rid of them. Expensive gems, expensive. Brilliant. Is there a house here? No, there's no house here. Yeah, wow, we are traveling really ridiculously slowly because we've got no crew. We've got no crew. Right. Okay, so we can't even come close to selling off all of our gems. Ugh. Ugh. Right, give me all your wheat. And then take more gems. There we go. Brilliant. Right, I think we need about eight grand. We need about eight grand in order to buy the next boat. We got four grand in the investment bank, so that's pretty nice. I think we want to buy a ship. We, we want to buy a new ship before I start faffing around with moving like 20 people. Yeah, we're going to need to try and get a bigger ship. I think I just want to get the Caravel or the Karak, whichever, whichever the more impressive one actually is. Right, is there any other trade station which... We'll take what I'm. We'll take what I'm after. I need to go. I need to go back to Seafell in order to to go to the house. I just need to do that. All right. There we go. Brilliant. And uh, and let's just let's just you know, let's just try and free up. Ugh. That's no. That's a ripoff. I'm just not gonna. I'm just not gonna pay it anymore. I'm sorry. Just not gonna pay it. Right, sell off these things, these uh, these tea leaves or whatever, and that's it. Actually, that's all that I care about. Just free up the free up the space, and then we'll head across to Seabury. I've still got a bunch of batteries. Oh wow, we didn't even we didn't even require any of the batteries. We still got 0.8 charge there. Fantastic. Right, I am gonna get an auto charger. Mark my words. Mark my words. It's about to happen. Okay, so I need to just clear up clear up these gems. Gems are cheap over there. Gems are slightly underpriced. Okay, well, you know, we can we can head down this way and uh, and pick up the stuff that we're after. Because Seafell is where the good stuff is anyway. Yeah, cool. I'm telling you, between spice production and gem production, we are gonna be absolutely rolling in the cash. Right. So that's a bunch of money. That's a bunch of money. You don't take lumber. You don't take anything else. That's fine. 700 bucks. Is that going to be enough to get a brand new ship? I don't know. You tell me. Right. Copper Scar still needs those 17, yeah, 17 spices. I tell you what, if I probably, if I finish off that mission, if I finish off that mission, we're probably good. 12 spices. 12 spices. Let's go to Silverville. Let's go to Silverville. Kingsford should have restocked by now. Fantastic. Gems are still expensive, but you know what else is expensive? That's right, the apples which are grown next door. Which, I mean, is truly phenomenal. I like this a lot. So we just take literally all of these apples. Excuse me. Yep. It's control click to move them all. Alright, I knew I was missing something this whole darn time. 
yeah, so now Kingsford is like one of the largest, one of the largest trade depots that we actually have. I think I've reduced the tax here as well. I do indeed believe so. Yes, I already have reduced the tax a little bit. Don't really feel the need to reduce it anymore. But let's sell all of this. 2,500. I mean, look, this isn't even going to touch the... This isn't even going to touch the sides. This is ridiculous. All right. Well, we will pretty much clear these dudes out. I'll buy all the wood just because I can, because the wood is cheap. And is there anything else that I feel like I need to buy? Not particularly. There we go. All right. So that will bring us up to 3,000... Uh, 7,515, which is very, very nice indeed. You know, we'll, we'll pay for a little bit of a, a, a recharge there. That's fine. Uh, let's go head over to the bank. 199 in uh, in fees. I mean, that is gonna that is gonna shoot up real quickly, real, real, real quickly as soon as we buy this Karak. I'm gonna go and withdraw every single penny that I have, and then I'm gonna go and head to I think it's Clouds Peak. Yeah, Clouds Peak. That's got the that's got the ship right, and then we will buy the best the best thing that we possibly can buy also i did indeed see that my sand uh, my sand island has has filled up on storage but that's fine right so we've got the option between the karak and the atakaban i think the karak is is what we're after right yeah i mean the caravel is is nice and all that but I think I think the Karak is just better. It's just better in almost every way. Yeah, let's let's get the Karak. Brilliant, fantastic. Uh, use the new ship. Sell the old ship. Send a new ship to Caravan Office at Ravendale. Use the new ship. Send the old ship. Keep using keep using the old ship. Send the new ship. Oh oh, brilliant. Okay, so we actually totally needed to do this anyway. Uh, we only are going to get 417 gold for the old ship. Right. Use the new ship. Send the old ship to the caravan office at Ravendale. Fantastic. Oh, my lordy. Would you look at the size of this beast? I mean, that is fantastic. Whilst we're here, hire 63 people for 630 gold. That's right. I mean, that may seem like a little bit of overkill. But unbelievably, we actually totally need it. Oh, my goodness. Look at this procession of people. Keep it coming, folks. Keep it coming. Brilliant. Okay, so I have no idea what my weekly expenses are due to be, but um, but that's something that I totally need to consider. Right, so Ravendale is where we're going to head to next. Right, and let's see what we've got going on over here. I mean, look at the size of this beast. It is, it is tremendous. We need to go to the caravan office, send all necessary workers... Are we at the optimal number? We're still a little bit over capacity there. Should be a long procession of people coming through. Brilliant. Plot caravan routes. Fantastic. That is what I'm interested in. Right, so we've got a cog. That's fine. Uh, plan the caravan route. View items. Currently stored on the ship. There should be nothing stored in the ship, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so we've got all of the current cargo that I was traveling with. So, plot the caravan routes. Set the caravan route. Okay, so I want to go from Ravendale. New action. Load cargo. I want to load sand. Right, load sand. Brilliant. Yes. Uh, yes, how do I... Okay, brilliant. Load cargo. Repeat route on... And then I want you to go to Seabury and go here. Unload all cargo, right? So we're good. Repeat route on. Fantastic. Fantastic. What does this plus button do? Add a new action before this one. Remove this action. Okay, cool. Well, we can close that. All right, get to it. Will that, will that just work? I think it'll just work. Okay, five, five sand has disappeared, but that's completely fine. I'm going to take the glass just because I can. So can I have a little look to see where the, is the caravan, 
elsewhere. I don't I don't know where I don't know where the other the other the other cog is. Okay, so that should show up on our on our mini map now. Brilliant. Maybe it'll just go once I've once I've gone. Okay, so that is that. We've got a gargantuan battery now, which is which is absolutely phenomenal. What I would like to do is first of all check my cargo. See if I've got anything remotely interesting. Not really. And you know what? Let's just flip and do it. Let's just head on up to the workshop of curiosities up at the top of the world. Oh look, there we go. We can see the uh we can see the cog in action. It's gonna be taking a bunch of sand, so we should see a bunch of replenished sand. Uh head down to Copper Scar just so that we can see see it work. Did that did it do it? It totally did it. It totally did it. Okay, that's fantastic. Right. I was just driving around there to simulate the passage of time. That's right. If that is such a thing that can be that can be done. Right. So there are two upgrades that I want to see if I can try and get with the number of tickets that I have at the present moment. I think I should be able to afford them both. One is of course the legendary auto charger which I have been which I have been saying to you chaps I would pick up for uh, forever. We don't need to go to the explorer person. That's cool. So, I would like to get the auto charger, and I would also like to get the scrap magnet. Okay, I can only afford the auto charger. That's fine. Install the auto charger. I mean, that's straight up just gonna make a tremendous difference. Just, I mean, just in general. Means that I never really need to worry about, um, never need to worry about recharging again. I am a little bit concerned that I am low on cash at the moment. So I should probably try and do something about that. Copper Scar, I mean, yeah, why don't we try and fix up the Copper Scar contract? We might as well just get that done. Yeah, head on over this way. Are we going to be able to transport ourselves all the way across to the other side of the map without running out of juice? We totally are. 600, okay, 655. 655 per week. Now, there is uh, there is a lot more riding on our success. I mean, the, the, the jobs of quite literally hundreds, but... Oh, hundreds and hundreds of people. Uh, the jobs of a hundred, hundreds and hundreds of people are, are riding on our success. How do I not have sand on me? That's an absolute travesty, I must say. Right, we'll just take all the spices. I mean, spices will sell for a gargantuan amount of money. Right, and then we're going to go to... We're going to go to... Well, in fact... In fact, yeah, let's just go straight to, let's just go straight to, to Copper Scar. I will go via Seabury. The reason that I'm going to go via Seabury is that we should indeed see a full free recharge, or basically what is a full free recharge. There we go, so we'll go into town. Recharge the ship automatically for 208 gold. Oh, yeah, okay, I say free. It's not exactly free. That's a significant problem actually um yeah that is a significant problem all right pick up a bunch of sand brilliant and then we'll we'll skedaddle we'll get out of here okay so go up to copper scar we got still too many crew on board but that's that's fine right so let's do the contract complete that take a guild task Sure, I can do that. 30, 30 spice. Any spice here? No. Slightly underpriced. Slightly underpriced spice over here. That's not something that I'm interested in. I will sell off all of the wheat though. And I will buy... I'll buy spices actually. I'll buy spices and I'll buy... I'll buy all of this stuff. And I'll buy a little bit more sand just to bring my price down under the required level that they need. Fine. And the trade post develops as a consequence. How wonderful. Right. So, I mean, I can think about potentially... I'll take a tourist on board. Sure. Majestic Carrot. Alright. It'll get me a ticket, so I guess that's kind of worth it. Uh, I can think about potentially now trying to complete one of these... One of these quests, like one of the proper quests. So, restoring the lighthouse, achieving the loyal trust at the inns, Feeding the fish god or accumulating a gargantuan amount of wealth. I mean, do I need to do them all or do I need to do just one? I guess that will remain to be seen. 
that will indeed remain to be seen. Majestic Carrot is definitely something that we can do. Uh, gems. We need iron and bricks. I mean, I've got loads of bricks. I just haven't got a load of iron on me at the moment. What do I need to upgrade the iron place? We need bricks and iron as well. Okay, let me go to the brick. The brick zone. Not the brick zone. The uh, the iron zone. Tell you what, I'll go via... I'll go via Parkborough because the storage is full, and that's a little bit wasteful, not having slightly more storage. Right, just take, yeah, just take all the wood, and then skedaddle right on over to the iron area. Brilliant. Head on in. And then see if we can pop in a couple of upgrades here. Uh, I need a little bit more iron. The way that I get iron is by taking the iron out of here. Oh, straight up, I don't have enough iron. Right, I mean, that's a bit of a bummer, isn't it? That's a bit of a bummer. I mean, five per day is used in the production process, and then... Oh, yes, I did talk about how we were going to draw down on... We were going to draw down on our iron. Um... Okay, there's a way around this. There's a way around this. There's totally a way around this. So, we're gonna go and buy another flippin' island. That's right, you heard me. We're gonna go and visit another flippin' island. We're gonna purchase this island. That's right, it's pretty cheap. Gotta be careful not to overspend here. Right, iron mining depot. Send all necessary workers. Upgrade to level two. Upgrade to level two. Three. Right, we need more money. We need more money, and we need more money fast. Right, what what can I sell? Can I sell berries? I'll sell berries at Kingsford. Let me sell berries at Kingsford. Before the before the weekends. There's also there's also a bazaar. I mean, I should totally just go and like sell all the stuff that I can't actually sell. Recharge the ship automatically. Yeah, I've got to be careful. Got to be real careful about that. Right, berries. Theoretically, yeah, it should totally get me above the uh, the amount that I need to the amount that I need to have. Slightly underpriced. I could pick up those spices actually. I'm not going to on this occasion. Sell that one, uh, and then I think that's it. Yeah, cool. Trade post grows yet again, which is delightful. Right, head on over to Castleport and let's see if we can find a good deal for any of the stuff that we can't usually sell. Uh, today should be the busiest day in the bazaar as well. So, would I be able to sell some bricks? You know, sure. We're not going to set the sale price, like, super low. But at the same time, I mean, I do have a gargantuan number of bricks. So, we'll do something like that. We'll sell off literally all of my lumber. Sure. Literally all of the lumber. We don't need a single bit of lumber. And, uh, and batteries? Batteries are dirt cheap, so there's no point in selling them off. Alright, let's see if this actually works. Alright, there we go. A good number a good number of goods. Certainly can't complain about that too much. And you know what? Any of the leftovers, I will absolutely take. Yeah, so, you know, we make about two grand. Eh, whatever. We pay the fees. Brilliant. And then what I want to do, can I set the orders of the caravan? Oh, brilliant. I totally can. So unload all, ca uh, unload all cargo over there. The new action, I would like to go to Seapol, right? And I'd like you to load cargo. Literally all of the iron. Brilliant. And then new action over to Goldbury and unload all of the cargo in Goldbury. And then go back to Ravendale and uh, and just repeat. Really, yeah, perfect. So that's kind of the thought process that I'm um, that I'm using at the moment in order to in order to get all of the goods transported around in a reasonably efficient manner. So that is fine. Yeah. So let's see if we can go and try and get a couple more upgrades over at the Stone Pole Mining uh, place, wherever it is. I wonder if I can automatically sell goods. I've, I've so far not, uh, I'm not sure of a way of doing that. But that would be pretty good if I could do that. Right, upgrade to level 4, upgrade to level 5, brilliant. That takes us a little bit, you know, it takes us into a little bit of a dodgy situation, but that's fine. 
I'll take the iron out just manually for the moment. I've got two more upgrades. I could get pickaxes in one of these places. That would not be the most uh, silly of ideas. How much iron do I need in order to upgrade this? 11. I think I've got 10 at the moment. Let me head out this way. Pick up a little bit of this. Uh, uh, sure. I'll go and sell. I'll go sell some of my junk here. I say junk. I mean spices, actually. Right. Ship was automatically recharged for 80 gold. Okay, can I deactivate you, please? I, I don't really want to do it every single time. That might become a little bit of a problem. Okay, sure. Sell off the very expensive spices. Yeah, not all of them. Sell off 20 very expensive spices, sure. You know, and I'm doing my bit as well. I'm helping the, the trade post growth, eh? Right, just go navigate around for a little bit whilst we wait for... In fact, just go over here. We should have... We should have the iron... We should have the iron ready by now. Or one iron should be waiting in the hold. So if I... One iron is not waiting in the hold. That's ridiculous. Okay, go back across the sea pole. Come on, chaps. I, you know, you gotta give me the accurate information. I need, I need accurate information in order to... In order to, you know, decision make. Alright, some free berries. I always like free berries. Free anything, actually, just generally is pretty good. But you know what they say about free stuff. There's no such thing as a free lunch. You know, somebody always has to pay. Right. Give me all of that iron. And then I would like to go to the forge. Upgrade the forge to level 5. Fantastic. We now have... A totally gargantuan amount of iron production. Turn 10 iron into 5 iron ingots every day. Which is perfect because that's exactly how much iron this area will have. I mean, it's going to get its iron pretty sporadically. Because of the, you know, because of the, you know, the, the rotations of the of the cog. But that should be totally fine. I'm, I'm, I'm not bothered about that. 22 sand and 9 bricks. I mean, we got a lot of bricks right now. Why don't I, why don't I go and check out... In fact, I can just go and pick up the sand from... I'm going to pick up the sand from here because all of the sand is right over here. Right, so give me all the sand over here and then we'll go and uh, we'll go and get the spice plantation upgraded as well. I say plantation. Is it a plantation? Is it a farm? I don't actually know. What am I looking for? I'm looking for storage. Yeah, there we go. Right, so take... I'm already ridiculously full of sand. I don't even know why I would need more sand than that. Man, having that auto charger, I feel like I'm never gonna need to. I'm never gonna need to look at, at, uh, at the. I'm never gonna need to click on the recharge thing ever again, unless of course I get it uninstalled, which is. I don't want to say a distinct possibility, but it's definitely something that could happen, right? So let's just max this out. There we go, brilliant. So we produce ten spice a day now. Probably gonna just try and get this storage upgraded like twice or something, just to make sure that you know we've we've always got the capacity. Yeah, so that would be good. Uh, and then take one stack, two stack. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So that's upgraded to max. What did we need in order to upgrade the... In order to upgrade the Blue Shire gem place down here? We needed money, which was not a problem, but definitely something that we needed to consider. Um, and we also needed iron, which we don't actually have that much of right now. I'll tell you what I do have a heck of a lot of. I do have a heck of a lot of spice. So let's travel on up to the to the depot up here. To the depot? Not to the depot. We'll just deliver the resources to uh oh we can't even do that actually. I thought it was spice that we need to deliver. Right, hold up. Stop, 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 stop. Is there is there cheap is there cheap uh, no sorry cheap dyes anywhere? I don't actually have any dye production methods at the moment. Very expensive dyes. Slightly underpriced dyes. Sure. Head off down there. Yeah. No... No dyes. I mean, we are visiting Kingsford, which is which is brilliant, because, I mean, there's always there's always something that I can do in Kingsford. And, you know, also the, the cheapness is very much appreciated. I love the cheapness. Love the cheapness of the, the refuelation. That's right. That is the technical terminology. 1,000... 1,000. 
1,000, 1,000, 1,000 ducats for this slightly underpriced stuff. I mean, I can sell off my stone, but that ain't really gonna cover it. Not even close. How much is wood gonna get me? I mean, I, to be honest, I'd probably just sell off this wood, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, sell off all the wood. Because I do need to make sure that I've got the finances to cover... Uh, cover my cover my operations. 40, so that's 40 dies there. And we need, I think it was 90 dies. Oh, no, it's total, we've totally got enough. Okay, and that's going to make me two grand. So let's absolutely go and get that sorted. Goldberry should have a, you know, a plentiful supply of iron ore now, which is wonderful. Very, very happy with that. Very, very happy with this caravan and how we can set it up to, to do a whole bunch of stuff, really. Complete the guild task. Take another guild task. 12 spices. And 63 wheat. I mean, we've probably got the spices, but we we just ain't got the wheat. I mean, do I... Do I have wheat fields? I don't have wheat fields, do I? I feel like I did spot wheat fields, though. Yeah, they're down there. Yeah, we didn't... I didn't, I didn't actually move on either one of them, though, did I? I don't think so. Yeah, still undecided, honestly, what the best course of action is with regards to that. Yeah, completely undecided. Okay, I'm gonna go and do two things here. Firstly, 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 I'm gonna just head on over to uh, Alderkirk because I'd, li I'd like to pick up some of this wood. So we'll get this wood. We'll get as much of it as we possibly can. Which, honestly, not that much, you know, a good stack, good stack, good couple of stacks of wood. And I will also get as much of the lumber as I possibly can. The reason why is because I'm going to go to the, I'm going to go to the bazaar. I'm going to fly around for half a day. A swarm of visitors. Brilliant. That's exactly what I'm interested in. Right, so let me start uh, start this trade. I'm going to reduce the price of my lumber. In fact, I'm actually going to reduce it to the very lowest that it possibly can be. And then I'm going to sell off all lumber. In fact, all lumber bar like 30. Sure. I'm expecting literally all of this lumber to sell. So I would highly anticipate making a good amount of money from this. I say all of this lumber, I did put rather a large amount of lumber on the market, and there are only a certain number of visitors who will presumably be able to capitalize on that, so maybe I'm vastly overestimating the amount of lumber that was sold. Wow, we didn't even sell half a stack. Well, we maybe, even, we maybe sold an entire stack, but we certainly didn't, st uh, didn't sell that much. Right, well, let's head down to the wheat fields, and we'll quickly buy the island. I do indeed believe. And we'll, you know, we'll just get, we'll just get rudimentary production set up. Purchase the island. Absolutely wonderful. Brilliant. So, I think, I think. Hold up. Wheat farm. Oh, we need five stone. Oh, we need five stone. Why would we need five stone? Is there any stone that I can buy nearby? Slightly underpriced. Brilliant. That's the best, the best type. Just give me, give me all that you've got. I mean, I'm not going to be able to get many upgrades, apparently, but that is what it is. Speaking of stone, given that we... Five, really? Uh, given that we... Given that we really... Most of the time turn our stone into bricks, we probably need to buy another stone island in order to... In order to just have an island which straight up produces... Just, what am I doing? Uh, straight up just produces stone. Just, you know, nice, simple stone. Right, wheat farm. Presumably we'll get more than one wheat. Presumably we'll get four wheat per day. Okay, brilliant. We need we need more stone in order to make that happen. But now we should now we should get wheat fairly regularly. Which means that I think I think, if I'm not mistaken, we are now producing all of the basic resources. I don't think that there is any resource which we are not producing. Uh, with the exception of dyes, actually. Dyes is a resource that we're not producing, but I do indeed believe that dyes are created with a mashup of spices and something else. I can't I can't remember what it was. I think. I think that's what they were anyway. 
Uh, so, you know, that's that's pretty darn good. Sand is very expensive over, over here. Well, I mean, who am I to turn down a very expensive sand? That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, sell off. Oh, goodness gracious me. Can hardly sell off anything. Right, well, you know, we'll we'll do what we can do. We'll do what we can do. Um, isn't sand, like, really expensive in Kingsford as well? No, it's not. It's the gems. It's the gems and the the uh, the berries. The berries, the cherries, the apples. Uh, right. Well, you know what, ladies and gents? It's a little bit of a short episode, but I feel like we're going to ramp things up here. I feel like that's quite a nice natural end. We've, you know, we've managed to accumulate a ridiculous amount of, uh, a ridiculous amount of resources coming in. And I think in the next episode, what we're going to try and do is we're probably going to go and try and get another caravan station. And we're going to start bringing all of our resources to a fairly central location. And uh, I'm, I'm hyped about it. I'm hyped about it. I reckon I can probably set up the auto-sell thing with this caravan. Presumably, we can set up an auto-sell route, so it would be great if we could sell our, uh, our berries automatically. That would be pretty darn good. I'm pretty excited for that. It's going to be... It's going to be oh so great. It's going to be oh so glorious. Ladies and gents, thanks as ever to my fantastic uh, Patreon supporters. My name, of course, has been Over the Potato. I'll see you next time. Bye.